thank you for giving me the time to present in summer as well. So I'm not quite doing a demo. This is drawing attention to an important announcement that we had recently sent out to the message center. There was a message ID with this one. It talks about changes to custom scripting, which has been part of SharePoint experience for a more than a decade now, but uh, for various reasons, we are trying to uh, introduce more governance around this. And if you all remember, last year there were there were in last year we had rolled out this change where, with the scripting where all site templates other than classic publishing had this enforcement of no script with a twenty four hour opt out per site level. But this year we're now bringing that to classic publishing sites as well. What this means is all site templates in your entire organization will now have no script turned on by default. And if you need scripting ability on any one site, you will go turn it on uh, for a 24 hour period with that with a, with a with a single site level exception. So th this change is rolling out now because classic publishing sites were just added. We are giving another six months where all of these classic publishing sites could be exempted from this enforcement for a for a uh, uh, until March 15th. It's about a six month period, but afterwards any site collection in your organization can have that no script exemption for 24 hours using the site level uh, uh, PowerShell experience that's that's been out out in the uh, available to everyone. So that's the first change. The second thing is actually a new feature that we are now uh, rolling out. Uh, one of the use cases that was sort of stuck behind the scripting setting was the ability to manage the property bag, the site property bag. So what we've now done is introduced another site level and tenant level property, which you can set independent of the no script, which will then allow you to manage site property bags without messing with the no script setting. I see a hand up, Elliot. Um, go ahead. There, there might be, oh. there might, because we have so many, their mics are locked down. So I don't know if Elliot was uh, meaning to react or oh, Elliot, if you yeah. want to put. Okay. Because an accident. Yeah. Okay, got it, got it. Um, I guess questions are in the chat then. Okay, I will pay attention to the chat after my time is over. But yes, so that's the second item in there. The third item is, um, it, it is a, a lockdown of classic publishing site creation and feature activation. Again, this used to be available generically in all the tenants. So what we've now done is uh, are, are proposing to do is starting uh, in in in, uh, in in September, we will no longer be able to activate uh, those classic publishing features or have the classic publishing sites unless you have a tenant level flag that explicitly allows creation of classic public sites. This again, because these capabilities have been around for a long time and organizations have been evolving, most many customers we've talked to are like they don't even know that these kinds of sites are being created using whatever automation process that they've been that have been going on. So a lot of classic usage has been purely by force of habit rather than explicit choice. All of these changes are to reinforce that 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 governance and the and the cognizance that they are intentionally creating these kinds of sites for their use. And there is no expiration on this setting at this point. We haven't announced anything for the 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 last one, which is the flag that allows creation of classic publishing sites, but it just brings governance and brings attention to the current admins of the SharePoint environments within organizations. So three, these are the three changes uh, rolling out. Uh, we just did the announcement in July, and the, all of these changes will take effect from uh, mid-September. So we have a MC post where all of this has been uh, detailed. I will bring that up in here. So all of these changes are happening. Uh, it will take effect starting September 15th. So you have a chance to opt out and do all your uh, preventive measures from day one. But from September 15, this will take effect. You continue to have options to be in uninterrupted using PowerShell experiences to have either a site level exception for the no script or the entire tenant level setting that allows creation of classic publishing sites. 
that's it. That's all I had. I just wanted to bring this important change in front of the our, our community. Uh, a lot of classic work is also uh, used by customers with the help of community and partners and developers. So we wanted to make sure that everybody is aware of this change uh, coming soon. Thank you.